chapter 18 adverbs learning time a look at the pictures and read the following sentences one the girl is singing sweetly the word sweetly tell us how the girl is singing two the baby is crying daily the word daily tells when the baby is crying three the soldiers can fight everywhere the word everywhere tell us where the soldiers can fight in the above sentences, the highlighted words sweetly, daily and everywhere add meaning to the verbs singing, crying and fight. The verbs describe the action. The adverbs tell us how the action is done, when it is done and where it is done. Practice time. 1. Fill in the blanks by adding ly to the adjective given in the brackets. A. The announcer shouted loudly. B. Ashish sadly said goodbye to his friends. C. The beggar looked at the food greedily. D. The doctor called the ambulance angrily. Teachers note. Explain to children there are six main types of adverbs. Namely, adverbs of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of degree and conjunctive adverbs. Let's learn. Adverbs of manner tell us how the action are being done. We often add ly to the adjective to change them into adverb of manner. Example, graceful plus ly, gracefully. Slow plus ly, slowly. While changing an adjective into an adverb, the spelling of some words also change. Example, angry plus ly, angrily. Heavy plus ly, heavily. To circle the adverbs that describe the underlined verbs in the following sentences. A. The sun is shining brightly. Brightly. B. Rohan is running fast. Fast. C. The dog is barking loudly. Loudly. D. The bird sang sweetly. Sweetly. E. Mohit hit the ball hard. Hard. F. She writes neatly. Neatly, H, G, Virat plays nicely, nicely, H, Saurabh talks politely, politely, I, the driver drives carefully, carefully, J, she dances beautifully, beautifully, let me answer, can you identify adverbs in a sentence, learning time, B, read the following sentences, 1. I am taking my meal now. 2. Today I got up early. 3. We played a friendly match yesterday. 4. I will visit her tomorrow. In the above sentences, the words now, early, yesterday and tomorrow tell us when the actions are done. These words are called adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tell us when actions are done. Practice time. 3. Underline the adverbs of time in the following sentences. A. Neha gets up early. Underline early. B. It was very cold today. Underline today. C. Tarun met his uncle yesterday. Underline yesterday. D. She was busy then. Underline then. E. We will play the match tomorrow. Underline tomorrow. F. What were you doing at that time? Underline you. G. He did not talk to me yesterday. Underline yesterday. H. I finished she work in the morning. Underline morning. I. They will visit us soon. Underline soon. J. My father reads newspaper daily. Underline daily. Let me answer. Look for adverbs that can be transformed into adverbs by adding ly on to the end. For example, word loud into loudly. 4. Fill in the blanks with suitable adverb of time from the box. 1. Kanhaya is always the first one to reach the playground. 2. Now we play together with our other friends. 3. He has not come to play today. 4. He had an injury yesterday. 5. I will go to see him just tomorrow. 6. I hope she can play with us every day. 7. I brush my teeth daily. 
8 he will never talk to me learning time c read the following sentences 1 rahul is sleeping there the word there tells where rahul is sleeping 2 air is everywhere the word everywhere tells where air is 3 we will go upstairs the word upstairs tells where we will go in the above sentences the word there everywhere and upstairs tell us where the action are being done words like there everywhere and upstairs are also adverbs of place adverbs of place tells us where actions are done practice time 5 underline adverbs of place in the following sentences a children are playing outside underline outside b we live here underline here c the sky is above underline above d there are trees all around underline around e mohan looked up underline up f she came and sat down underline down g the soldiers march forwards underline forwards h you can find him anywhere underline anywhere i i have kept the suitcase inside underline inside six underline the adverbs in the following paragraphs arrange them as adverb of manner adverb of time and adverb of place yesterday it was raining heavily my sister puja had a fever and cried loudly in pain she also tossed in the bed restlessly. I could not find Papa anywhere. He had gone out. I decided to go out the door myself. I walked carefully so that I might not sleep. Soon I reached the doctor's clinic but I had to wait there for 15 minutes. I told the doctor about Pooja's fever and he gave some medicine. Pooja took the medicine. She is alright now. Adverb of manner heavily, loudly, restlessly, carefully. Adverb of time yesterday, soon, 15 minutes, now. Adverb of place anywhere, bed, out, doctor's clinic. Fun with grammar. Pass out pieces of paper and ask your students or children to write a sentence that contains an adverb for each of one of the adverb categories that are taught. For example, the children should write one sentence for how adverbs, one sentence for when adverbs and one sentence for where adverbs. At the end, collect the papers, mark any corrections and clarify any misunderstanding that the children might have.